Good morning everyone. Today's devotional from Psalm 33 is all about faithfully waiting on God. Because it says in verse 20, we wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. What do you like at waiting in queues? What do you do? What do you think? What do you feel? I mean, some of you might just go on your phone, you might just look around, tap your foot, whistle, you might feel frustrated or at peace. But however you think or feel and whatever you do, we all just generally are quiet, aren't we? And we just kind of move with the queue until it's our turn. Because otherwise, if we misbehave, we'll just get thrown out the queue and our waiting would have been in vain. You see, obedient waiting is a, a hallmark of having faith in God, where whatever you're waiting for, you obey God and keep him at the centre of your attention. Whereas disobedient waiting is a hallmark of having faith in ourselves, where we have our own self-interests at the centre of our thinking. And we, and we keep our feelings and our needs in our focus. Well, this psalm gives many reasons why we should have confidence in waiting on God and obediently waiting because of his justice, his righteousness, his love, his power. The list goes on in this psalm. It's wonderful. What are you waiting for today? It might be a certain answer to prayer. It might just be that you're waiting for Jesus to come back again. You're waiting on revival or for a change to happen. Well, whatever it is, big or small, we must not trust in knee-jerk reactions or making our own plans all the time, but on God. And a great example of this is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, where King Jehoshaphat receives a message where Israel are going to be attacked by not one, not two, but three armies. Can you imagine? What's his response? He commands the country to pray and to fast. And they all come together for a time where they do that together. He could have called an emergency meeting. He could have trained up the army. He could have made weapons. He could have got ready, made his own plans. But he chose to wait on the Lord. And if you read that chapter, you'll find out how God amazingly delivers them and rescues them. So today, be patient and exercise obedient waiting.